All right, we're going to go through showing you how to draw your car in SketchUp right now. So first off, you should be in my.sketchup.com. Make sure you got that my before it. Um, it'll look something like this. I might have you go through a few screens to get here. Get rid of this guy first by hitting delete. And then we're going to go over here on the right where you've got views, this little play button. And you're going to click this one in the middle here to make it go to the top view. And then you're going to click this cube looking shape here to make it go into parallel projection. You can get rid of this screen by clicking the arrow. And now we're going to get our rectangle tool and click this corner, and drag it out, and we're going to tell our um, we're going to tell SketchUp that we want to be a square that is nine comma two. And my cap, my screen capture software is not letting me do that right now for some reason, but it'll be about this size. So type in nine comma two, and you'll get a, a, a rectangle like that. Um, and then you're going to duplicate that by getting your select tool. Click it twice to get everything highlighted. You can do control C, control V for copy and paste and then drag it down just below it. Now you're going to get your tape measure tool and we're going to make this bottom rectangle look more like the side of our car by clicking down here on the bottom and dragging up three-fourths of an inch. So you'll type in three slash four, which again, it's not going to show it on my screen, so you're going to have to type that in three slash four, and it's going to look right around here. Then you're going to go up here, and you're going to type in 2.5, and it'll put it right around, somewhere around here. So what it'll look like. Now we're going to grab our move tool drag it down to this guide point, drag it up to this midpoint, and then you've got your, your two shapes. This doesn't look perfect. It'll actually look more something like that on yours if you've drawn it to those, uh, to those sizes that I told you. Mine just unfortunately won't do that right now while it's recording. Um, now you need to put on your axles for where the, for the, where the wheels are going to go on the side. So you're going to grab your tape measure tool again, and you're going to bring it up one fourth of an inch from the bottom. So you'll type one slash four, and it'll be right around. It'll look something like that. Then you're going to get your circle tool, which is underneath this rectangle here. Click that and get your circle tool. And then right around here in this area, about a half an inch from the front of your car, you're going to put your holes for the axles and those are going to be the radius is going to be 3 slash 32 so you'll type 3 30 seconds and it will end up being it'll it'll look something like that so 3 slash 32 is what you're going to type for the size on this circle here in my case mine's going to be a little different from yours it'll be something like that all right now we also need to tell it where we want the cartridge to go in the back. So we're going to use our rectangle tool for that. And you're going to make a rectangle that is 2 inches by 3 fourths of an inch. So you'll type in 2 comma 3 slash 4 and hit enter. And it'll be something like this. Now you're going to grab your move tool. Actually no, grab your, grab your arrow tool double click it so you've got this whole thing selected then get your move tool and find the midpoint here where it comes up with that blue dot that says midpoint click that and bring it to this other midpoint to where it shows you where your cartridge is going to be you can also control C control V to give yourself a copy of that and bring it up here up top notice how I was grabbing that corner now we don't have a good place to place this if we're holding on to that corner. So go back to this midpoint and grab this midpoint here. Now you can see you've got your blank ready to go as far as you need to uh, or as far as it needs to be to start drawing. Now, you can use any combination of of these tools here to draw your car. For example, you can use this pencil tool to give yourself 
some straight lines if you want your car to be kind of more boxy shaped. Just trace along and find a shape that you like. So you could do something like that if you wanted. Or, let me get rid of those. You could use this arc tool. I'd recommend this second one right here to do something very similar where you go along your car but this time clicking once, clicking another time and then the third click will define define that curve so one click, two clicks, three clicks locks it in place one click, two clicks and three locks it in place so there you've got more curves if we want those so that's the side of our car. Now on the top of our car, we've got to think of how it's going to look. So we'll grab our tape measure and find the very end of our car, drag it up to the other side. Now we've got a line that shows what the top of our car will look like. So we can take some more curves here and, again, just based on your own ideas, your own design, make some curves on here, do some sort of shape that you might like. Now if you want to make sure that this is equal to the other side, you can measure that. That's exactly one inch. So I can come from the other side now, measure one inch this way. Just type one enter and uh, get that one inch mark. Now I can get my arc tool. Hold on this side and just move my mouse down. I didn't click or anything. I'm going to click here hold on this side, move my mouse down, click the second time, and now click the third time on that one inch mark that I made right there. And that guide won't actually show up in your drawing. You can get rid of that, that little dotted line. Like that, and get rid of it. Um, so yeah, that's the basics on how to get your car drawn. This is not exactly how you should draw yours. You should make it However you, however you want, whatever design you came up with, there's a few tools to get you started.